Ladies and gentlemen, we're now doing a breakdown of the uh, the information we just got given. Uh, so I think we're just going to jump through the uh, Crown Tundra stuff that we just saw here. So we're going to skip through to right about here where they show off the uh, the Crown Tundra because we get to see some things that we haven't seen before. First of all, we get to see the cinematic part here between uh, Zapdos and Moltres fighting. Then we get to see some sort of cutscene with uh, Peony and uh, you as the character just kind of chilling between some some trees. I guess uh, Reggie's going to show up, one of the Reggies, or maybe the battle. Maybe that's the battle between the birds and you're watching it. Uh, then there's two weird steps here in the ground. Um, some sort of hints, maybe. And here it is. There it is, guys. Galarian Sloking. That's what it looks like. Now we know officially what it looks like, guys. Now I know officially what it looks like. We're gonna turn this up on, uh, to 1080p FP, uh, like, um, you know, not FPS, but like frames. Just so we can see that slightly better. Uh, Magmortar, we got uh, some Sphiel right there. And uh, Carbing, I think, uh, just as well being caught. We can see also some newer areas here that we haven't seen from this perspective before. So some brand new things right there. We got Nido King chilling and walking in the overworld, which man, I can't wait to catch one of those. Uh, we got two old ladies over here from this like uh, lodge, which I think is where you're going to be staying. And it's kind of going to be the same as the dojo from the Isle of Armor. You know what I mean? It's going to be very similar to that, I would assume, or serve the same purpose as that. Uh, we got Dragon Eye Bro chilling up in some sort of like some overlook area within some sort of cave that looks over like the, you know, the majority of the, I guess, you know, crown tundra. Um, but yeah, then we got, yo, is that, is it flying just casually in the wild? Yeah, it's casually, Articuno is flying in the open world. Wow, that's really sick. So is that going to mean it's going to be a roaming legendary? Because that would be pretty cool in my opinion. That would be pretty cool in my opinion if, if it actually is, um, if it is true, that's what's going to be happening here. That would actually be really sick. If that's what we're going to be seeing. So we got Calyrex just chilling. Then we got here. They're mentioning your persistent internet compatibility. So yeah, you'll need to have, uh, you know, internet to do this. But we got Zygarde. Um, <laughs> as well as a bunch of other like Tapakoko, uh, Suicune, etc. Uh, just, you know, battles and the Dynamax adventures. It's going to be just you going through a few like normal raids. And then getting to a legendary at the end. Um, and yeah, it's really like what that's going to be like. We can kind of skip through this because it's mostly just showing that off. Then we got the Galarian Star Tournament where you're going to be able to make your own team, uh, you know, and just go into this tournament against two other, like, people and other teams, I guess. So that's going to be pretty interesting, if I'm going to be honest. That's going to be pretty cool. Just being able to build whatever team you want. Um, we got a few Pokemon here. We got Garchomp right there. Um, and yeah, for the most part, this right here is stuff we already seen. We got Mewtwo. We uh, got Lugia fighting against ho -Oh, which is sick. We got Groudon. We got Giratina popping out of the freaking void. Uh, we also got like a uh, Vettel right there. We got uh, Solgaleo. We got Eternatus. And uh, yeah, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, as well as the Regis. And uh, for the most part, just the legendaries. Now here, I want to go back right here. So right here, we get to see um, some parts we are running into these caves. Now I'm not sure, right there. You saw there was some sort of cave. If we go back like a single step, uh, like right around here, you see right there. It keeps going past, but let's just go back one more time. There it is. God damn it. Okay, but that's some sort of entrance. I think you go down there to do the Dynamax adventures. Then right here, we also see um, the entrance to the kind of broken down mansion that we see in the, the image for the Crown Tundra. Uh, you got the legendaries. You got some outfits. You got them exiting the cave here uh, with a freaking, uh, you know, uh, Gyarados just following him. And the outfit looks sick, by the way. Um, but yeah, you also got following Pokemon. Um... And, oh shit, that's, uh, what's it called again? Um, uh, it's freaking, uh, whatchamacallit, Zygarde. It's, um, uh, it's Zygarde again. Jeez. All right, let's go back real quick. And, uh, let's see. So we got Zygarde. We've got the, uh, a clean, clean image of, let's see. I want to get that clean image of, uh, Galarian's, oh, DC. It doesn't let me see it, but I guess now we know who actually has it. It's Peony who has the Galarian, uh, Slow King. So we're just gonna slow down the video so we can actually see it a little bit better, because it keeps running by too fast. So I really want to get a close, like, look at it. Uh, there it is. There it is. God damn it. Go back again. Oh, no, I just, I just dropped, dropped onto it, and then I missed it. Okay, here we go. There it is. God damn it. I keep jumping past it by a second. There it is. Okay, here we go, guys. That's what it looks like. Now we officially know what it looks like. There it is. That's what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it looks like. We now know officially what Galarian Sloking is going to be like. We know what it looks like. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of it. It looks kind of ugly. I'm going to be honest. Those eyes, I don't know what the deal is with those eyes. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know what's going on with those eyes. They're just freaking me the hell out. Like those weird, that weird position of the eyes. It's just... 
It's giving me a really weird feeling, man. I don't like it. But uh, there it is. Now we at least know what it looks like. So there's really not much else we can say about that, to be honest. Um, now we just officially know what that's going to be like. So, hey, you know, we know we know, we know, know what it looks like. And I think Peony's going to be definitely using it um, as his, one of his Pokemon. But we're going to have to wait and see if that's the case. But let's continue, though. Um, we see here, of course, some of the Pokemon. You're pushing the trees. I guess you're going to kind of antagonize and make the, uh, whatchamacallit, make the kind of, I guess, legendaries pop out of it on their own there. So, I wonder what that's going to look like. And then we got, you know, uh, Ishihara just chilling and talking. You got the Explore the Crown Tundra. We got a few overview shots of what it looks like. Um, and yeah, just a lot of stuff. Here's the train station you're going to be coming through. So, mostly stuff and screens we've seen from uh, before in the trailer. Nothing too brand new there. And we got the character here in that building that we see the, the, the villagers are at. The villagers are at. Uh, which I think is going to be similar to the dojo and work in a similar manner. You know what I mean? So, we got that. We got Peony just talking about the adventure. You got the old man from the data mine. You got some, uh, I guess, harvest right here that he's... You know, some things he's growing. Down here, you go for the Dynamax Adventures. There you go. So, would you like to embark on a part of Dynamax Adventure? Yes, please. How does it work? It explains it. And then, at the end, you can see fairy. So, that's going to be some sort of fairy legendary at the end. Uh, pretty much, uh, I think, most likely guaranteed. Uh, you got the giant tree. You got the weird, you know, mansion. Which we still don't know much about the mansion, I'm pretty sure. They haven't really told us much about that. Uh, we got the legendaries as well. That are going to be returning. Every single legendary, by the way. We know for a fact that every single legendary is returning. The two new Regis are going to be inside of there. We got Mewtwo, of course. Uh, and all of them. Yeah, all the legendaries are back. You got uh, Dialga and them boys in Dynamax Adventures that can be caught. And, of course, you can see how they work like right here. Every, like right here, you can invite friends to do it with you. Everyone talks to the other group decides to go this path or this path. So you choose a path and you go down it, which is a kind of cool thing, okay? I think it's kind of cool. You'll have option, optional paths. I just wish there was more mini games and stuff to do along the way. Maybe like mining through a wall because, you know, that's the only way to get through it or something. I don't know. It'd be pretty fun if they had stuff like that. But it's probably not going to be the case. But, hey, I can always hope and wish. And then we, of course, have the Galarian Star Tournament, which we already kind of talked about. And we already know what that is going to be like. So nothing new to say about that. Um, but yeah, so for the most part, I think we've seen everything that can be seen here. Now it drops, release date, biggest thing, release date on the 22nd of October. So this is literally just at the, like, to, not even the end of this, uh, you know, this October month. It's going to be literally pretty decently into it, you know what I mean? Like pretty, pretty decently into it, but not towards the full on end of it. So yeah, guys, 22nd, it's going to happen then. Uh, get ready. Also, they're doing a bundle that's going to be dropping on the, uh, is this on the, uh, I guess, the 6th of November, uh, on the Friday. They're going to be dropping uh, these bundles with the DLC and the games combined. I'm wondering what they're going to cost, though. I really do wonder what the price is going to be for them, but hey, we're going to have to wait and see how that turns out. So yeah, if you haven't bought them and if you really want to play them now, after you, you see how the Crown Tundra is, you can just wait for that. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Um, Arceus is mythical. Yeah, Arceus is mythical. Somebody in chat's asking about that. Yeah, Arceus is mythical, so don't worry about that. Next up, big news. We also know now that we're going to be getting our hands on the Ash, uh, Ash Pikachu. Uh, you know, the Ash uh, Pikachu, you know, hats, whatever, uh, Pikachu versions. And you can already get one right here by typing in the password Pikachu get, and you can get it through that. So you can go right there, get your hands on the Ash Pikachu if that's what you want. Uh, you can get that. I might get that myself. And uh, also, they announced something else here, which is the connectivity between Pokemon Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home, which is something that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. Now they didn't say when it's dropping, but it's gonna it's gonna be out by the before the end of the 2020. It's gonna be out before the end of 2020. They also announced that if you uh, trade between the two games, you'll get these uh, boxes, the mystery boxes, and then you'll be able to get a um, you know a special Mel Metal will be sent as a mystery gift to the mobile device version of Pokemon Home. And Pokemon Home uh, pays subscription required to access certain features. But yeah, basically you'll get the Gigantamax form of Melmetal properly. And Haimo, thank you for the $5, man. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, but you'll be able to get your hands on it, which we already know it existed through data mines, but now it's officially a thing. So you're going to be able to get your hands on that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's really not been much else that they mentioned here. So there you go. That's pretty much the breakdown of what we got, guys. So if you did enjoy the video, then thank you so much for watching the video of this. And uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe, you know, leave a like down below, all that sort of stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.